Hey, 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 everyone. I am back. Yes, I know it's been a while. I have moved into my new place. Hence why I have been gone for a while. But I am ready with a new tutorial. Super exciting. Well, alrighty then. Let's get prepping. So I am prepping my face with my Allegal um, Primer. And this is to set a foundation so it's important to prep and prime your skin before applying any sort of foundation so i am just putting that primer all over the skin in order for us to get a nice surface for that foundation to go on now i am grabbing my fluffy foundation brush and my foundation will be the maybelline fit me and that is in the shade 220 and this is just a few dots that i'm spreading on the brush in order for us to get an even spread and um, a much better blend when i put it applied on the brush and um, spread it and basically put it onto the face or the skin like that using my so-called tapping motions like i always tell you guys to always use tapping motions to blend that foundation or product into the skin yeah so just keep tap tap tapping and you will see it might look crazy right now but everything will start blending in flawlessly so yeah as you can see the foundation is starting to blend nicely into the skin and we are getting that even spread or even tone um, just by using tapping motions <laughs> yeah so just keep tapping with the brush into the skin and you'll see that it will so when i apply my foundation I usually make sure that I just even out my neck as well just so that it can match the face and not look like a mask because that sometimes happens when you forget about your neck because um, it's a little bit um, difficult to get a shade that is perfectly matching your skin um, your neck and your face so we just try and blend everything together so that it can actually look even in the end now for concealer i'm going in with my essence cauliflower um, concealer this is in the shade matte and i am just going to place that under the eyes to brighten up the under eyes and for us to have a lifted eye shape and also just to have the eyeshadow pop that we will be getting into shortly so for now we will be spreading that concealer under the eyes so that we can have a brighter more awake look yeah so i'm grabbing my fluffy brush and i am just tapping that into the skin nicely so that we can have a nice even blend um yeah so this is the way i can get it more even because sometimes it becomes streaky or cakey if you use like a different method of applying the foundation or the concealer so i feel lightly tapping under the eyes is a great method of getting the foundation or the concealer blended into the skin well alrighty let's set all these cream products i am going in with my banana deep setting powder so i'm just putting a little bit in at the top um so that i can actually just apply a little bit under the eyes where i have applied the concealer um for us to get that concealer set and not 
creased so we can have a nice flawless finish um, yeah so I'm baking so this is called baking when you set the concealer under the eyes so also I'm going to go in with my eyeshadows shortly so this will be a great method um, to keep the eyeshadows from looking all messy and messing up the makeup while you applying your foundation and sorry your eyeshadows um, at least you can wipe it away after setting the skin with the setting powder now I am going in with my favorite eyeshadow palette and that is my fashion girl eyeshadow palette I am using the shade dark purple or deep purple and because we are doing a smoky eye so I'm going to have my transition shade as a purple shade on the outer corner of the eyelid um, more on the higher point of my eye and I'm going to blend that into um, the crease of my eye and this is going to give us that nice layer for our um, transition shade to give some definition to this eyeshadow smoky eye look so when it comes to a smoky eye it is very very important to keep blending because that's going to give us that fierce look that we are going for with the smoky eye now to smoke out the eyeshadow i'm going in with the shade black and this is going to give us the ultimate smoky look that we are trying to achieve so i'm just tapping that on the inner corner of the eyelid and this is going to start giving that transition of that smoky effect that we're trying to achieve so remember when you do a smoky eye it's all about layering and building the eyeshadows so that you can achieve that smoke effect and fierce effect to this eyeshadow look now i'm grabbing my essence long lasting eyeliner pencil and this is going to enhance the smoky eye so much more and it will look flawless and complete so i'm just putting that all over the eyelid and any spaces that you didn't get any eyeshadow on um, or any gaps that is still showing because we want it to look black dark and fierce on the eyelid and that's going to give us that beautiful smoky eye look um, and complete this entire look now i'm grabbing my spoolie just to shape the eyebrows and for it to look a little bit neater um, and just to clean it up so that's what i usually do when i grab my spoolie so we can have a nice shape and some type of um, pattern or some type of shape to follow when drawing in the eyebrows Okay, so now I'm going in again with the Essence Eyeliner Pencil to fill in my eyebrows. So I am just going along the shape of my natural eyebrows and I am basically just drawing in a little bit with the eyeliner pencil. I'm very, very lightly, very soft. Um, I'm pressing on the pencil because I don't want it to look too dark. I want it to still look a little bit natural um, even though it's drawn in <laughs> so just to still give it a nice natural shape so um, that's basically how I do my eyebrows so nothing spectacular techniques um, I feel this is easier for me and a very simple uh, beginner way of also filling in my eyebrows so if you feel that you want to do your eyebrows and this is a technique that you'd like to follow please do because I can promise you it'll be very very easy to follow because it's very light on the pencil and you just follow the shape of your brow and that's your completed eyebrow look <laughs> yeah 
now I'm going back in with my fashion goal eyeshadow palette and I'm going back in with that deep purple shade that we used as a transition shade and I am smoking out the bottom of my eyelid and this is going to give this look um, more fierce and uh, sultry dramatic look and that's that's basically what I want wanted to achieve um, and then we add our lash queen mascara um, and now I'm just going in to do a quick nose contour so I'm going in with my bronzer and I am just shaping um, darkening the outer corner of the nose if I may call it that <laughs> and then I am going to use that as the bronzing shade and that creates basically a shadow along the nose and that is basically um, what we're trying to achieve when we do a nose contour which we bronze uh, which we create shadows on the outer corners and then on the inner corner which is on the bridge of the nose we highlight that area and that will push the nose bone a little bit more forward and it will give a little cute button nose effect and a nice nose like a nice nose contour in the end um, which I feel is my way of doing my nose contour everyone has their style of doing it but this is kind of my way yeah. now I'm grabbing my contour brush and I am going to define and um, shape the cheekbones and create a nice uh, contour for the cheeks cheek contour and sculpting the face so I usually go with the upward motion when I do the blending of the cheeks so this will give us a nice definition and um, not just a round uh, face that has no shape to it so just a little bit of definition to our cheekbone area now I'm going in with my fluffy brush and I'm going to contour the uh, nose contour um, just so that it can blend in and look a little bit more natural because we are going out with this look so I mean we need to look flawless and not too overdrawn and sculpted um, but still cute yeah that's why we have this look going so I'm just blending all that contour into the skin now I am going to set my highlighted areas I'm going in with my beauty treats palette and I am going to set all over the highlighted areas um, and this is going to make the highlighted areas stand out more and give more sculpture to the face and also give sculpture to the contoured look as well because we are highlighting and bronzing the areas um, in the center of the face and on the outer corner of the face I am putting darker shades and bronzing those so you can see that all the highlighted areas are pushing more forward as we are blending and pressing in the powder right now now to finish off the lip I am going in with my Maybelline New York in the shade deep purple because we have used the transition shade on the eyelids and the eyeshadow of purple I thought let me go in with a nice deep purple lip shade and that is Maybelline, Maybelline New York um, in the shade deep purple very very pretty shade and it is a matte lipstick so it is long lasting very beautiful 
so this is the final smoky eye look so goal if you are ready to be fierce and be dramatic and be creative with your makeup look this is definitely a look that i'd recommend if you feel that you want to do a little bit more extra and be extra goal do this look go for this look this is my final glam smoky eye look and i hope you liked it i hope the instructions were easy to follow and that you'll give this look a try see you all next time bye